still salvation is different from commitment salvation draws man to god commitment makes man to be the partner of god to continue the mission of god for which a special favor special protection special anointing is given all those who receive salvation don't receive anointing anointing is the special life of god flowing through man to others we call sacrament is a channel of god's grace moving from the person to the whole world yes when a man submit himself to god man is made up three things that is human will human body and human mind human will says what i want to do i will do human heart is full of emotions feelings one side man's emotion and feelings pull towards the individual in one direction the other side the human will so i will do only this i am meant for this and human mind has to decide which side to go emotional side or throw to the will or take the man to god if the mind can train the will and train the emotion to surrender to god to be in the hands of god what god wills i will do god's will is mine we read in luke chapter 1 verse 38 where mother mary tells the angel i am god's can made i am in the hands of god that god's will be done in my life yes i am ready to commit my life for you we read in the book of hebrews chapter 10 verse 5 jesus tells the father father you have given me a body here i am coming to do your will here i come to do your will so it's up to me when we surrender into his hands my life is not about myself i feel like sleeping so i go i feel like going there i am going there no every minute i ask him daddy i am yours what do you want me to do it is yours you sit you want me to go there i go you want to be sleep i sleep you want me to work i work no this work is hard for me no i will not do this i will not do that that is not the will of god that is self as long as self is living god's will will not work many of the times we think we don't recognize the self the greatest enemy of god is self the people who are worshiping god lucifer 24 hours he was in the presence of god but he did not know self nenu nadi nenu talanchinade right gone there was lucifer he was worshiping god hallelujah hallelujah but mind was on self what i want everybody should do what you tell i will not do what you say is not right sometime when the father asked jesus to go and die jesus did not understand in life we don't understand everything we just obey god's will we read in the book of genesis chapter 22 where father abraham tells the son to carry the wood 
to burn the offering. And the father carries the fire and the knife. The son carries the wood. The boy asks the father, Daddy, fire is there to burn the offering. Knife is there to cut the offering. Fire is there to burn the offering. Where is the offering? Father Abraham says, My son, when we follow the Lord, we don't get everything at a time. God provides in His wisdom, in His time. When we follow the Lord, we don't get everything what we wanted. All we have is the will to serve Him. Abraham got the will even to offer his son. Because the Bible says, the book of Hebrews chapter 4 says, Abraham believed because he has spoken, he will not take back that word. What he has spoken will take place. So if God has said, through Isaac, your generation will grow. How will God kill Isaac? Maybe I may be killing him. God may raise him up. That's what he thought. He could think only that much. But he obeyed the will of the father. He tied his son and kept it and took the knife even to kill him. He obeyed the will of God. Not the self. Self might as a stupid fellow. He has got his only son. Through him, God has to do many great things. How can you kill him? Maybe you understood wrongly. Lord, 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 did you speak in this way, Lord? I heard you something. Will you tell me what's again, Lord? No. Lord, if this is your will, here I am. Even if it is my life, here I am. Even you want me to die, I am here, ready. That's what we read in the book of Daniel chapter 3, where the three friends were asked to be tied up and thrown in the fire. And the king is asking last time, will you deny your God? Otherwise I am going to throw you away. They say, let God's will be done. If our God wants us to die in the fire, let his will be done. But our God also can bring us out of the fire because we know our God, it's a mighty God. If that he does, let his name be will. But we are not going to obey you. We are in the hands of God. Let God's will be done. The Bible says, the fellow who tied and those who carried them to put into the fire, they were burnt. Not those. The fire only, the fire made by the world only could untie the servants of God. The fire of the world can only untie the ropes of the world. It cannot touch the servants of God. So their fire, their ropes went down. So they became free. In the Inside the fire, God brought the fire of the Holy Spirit. It was so cool. And they were moving around as though they were moving in the AC. Yes. Our God is a mighty God. My dear friends, Sangamon Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.